recipients. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Your Excellencies, our distinguished guest of honor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as part of the events for today is the unveiling of the statue erected in honor of this amazing woman. May I therefore invite the Excellencies, our guest of honor, High Excellency President, Ellen Johnson Sellis, accompanied by the chief host of today, His Excellency our Governor Owele Anayo Rochas Okorocha, accompanied by Her Excellency, to please march to the statue to unveil the statue. The band is invited to graciously escort their excellencies to the statue to be unveiled. May I invite the Secretary to the Government of Imo State to accompany the excellencies, the Chief of Staff, Eze Imo, the Commissioner of Police, the Service Chiefs, the Speaker of the Imo State House of Assembly, and the Ministers from Liberia to accompany their excellencies to the unveiling. May I invite the members of the Federal House of Representatives here present to join the entourage to unveil the, speak, the statue. The rest of us would remain here while they do that and come back and thereafter for the event at the Hall of Fame. State Governor Richard Sokorocha moving down with the President of Liberia, Mrs. Ellen Johnson Sully, to unveil the statue that has been made in honor of the President. A few moments from now, the statue will be unveiled. Statue for the President of Liberia, Mrs. Ellen Johnson Sully.
you look at the statue here, or stat the statues, the force on your left is the statue of former first president of Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Namde Azikiwe, in his young days. And next to that is the, the next president of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah. And this one having the flag of Liberia is a statue in honor of Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. And next here is your brother, the president of Ghana, Nana Kufuado. And next to him there is yet another brother of yours, President Zuma of South Africa. And next there is one of our late great leaders, the former Prime Minister of Federal Republic of Nigeria, Alaji Tafawa Balewa. And it's my pleasure now that, they, that all may see that from now henceforth, you have been immortalized in this land, and generations and generations yet unborn will read about you. And after this, we shall officially now go back and welcome you to Imo Hall of Fame, where then you see for yourself your history. Madam President, my pleasure that you be guided to unveil. Thank you. Honors that have been bestowed on me today are just so exceptional. I I don't know how how to respond to it. I don't know how to say appreciation from the people of Liberia, from the delegation that is with me today and from my own self for this honor. It's also for the women of Liberia and the women of Africa. Because when visitors, tourists, and others come to Aweri to be able to share in a development experience of this state 
and they come and walk these halls, they will see one woman representing the women of Africa. And that is the greatest pleasure that I have. And I can only say to you, thank you. I hope that this statue and the other honors I received today will serve as great aspiration to the young girls, to the women, sphere of activity, to know that we can reach our potential, we can achieve our dreams, we can stand tall among the men and women of the world in providing the kind of an exemplary leadership that enables us to stand today as I stand representing women. Thank you so much. Excellency, it's a joyous day for you. Um, just moments ago, the Imo State government, the Imo State government unveiled this wonderful statue. How does this make you feel? How does this make you feel? I, I'm simply so filled with joy. My heart is so, so glad amazing how that um, I don't know what to say, except to say this is one of the happiest days of my life because this is an exceptional honor that I have not received elsewhere. I, oh, I've, re I've received many things, but this one today is quite exceptional. Have you seen, uh, like, has there been anywhere where you've been um, honored with a statue? I have been honored by a statue at my alma mater, Harvard University. But nothing like this. <laughs> and nothing among prominent people like this, just a little one in the corner. <laughs> So and, this, and, one, and, 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 this one towers above it all. This was there thank you, too. Thank you. Yeah, His Excellency. Yes. Um, this is another statue. Yes. And um, there are still um, numerous statues here. Yes. Nigerians might want to know why statue for this. Well, yes. to immortalize people, so our children yet unborn can read a piece. History is dying in Africa. We must keep history alive. In the next hundred years to come, most of us will not be here, but this will stand for children to tell to read stories and, 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 and mold their characters for better. If leaders are not immortalized, there will be no history for children yet unborn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Of an Amazon, a worthy ambassador of womanhood.